Hello, I am Vivian and I did the Diploma of Engineering here at UTS College. Today I'm going to show you Canvas and the best studying tips for studying online. Firstly, this is the UTS College website. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there is a link to Canvas. Canvas is the website you use to access all of your classwork and to submit assessment tasks. I strongly recommend adding it to your favourites tab for convenience as you will need to log into Canvas daily. This is the dashboard of Canvas. In here you will see all of the tests and tasks you need to do by scrolling through the page. There will also be UTS help, College Helps events occurring which will appear on your dashboard too. I encourage attending some whenever you're available as they are really helpful resources. The next tab directs you to the courses. The UTS College Helps course is where you go to access any support information, for instance workshops, study help and exams. Most importantly, you go on there to make appointments with your study success advisors as they are here to help you out with issues besides homework and assessment tasks. You can either book through here or by email and they usually respond within the next weekday they open. My classmates have gone to them for assistance as they were stressed prior to exam periods and have said talking to the advisor really helps. I went to them for assistance with my applications when transferring to UTS and I couldn't have done it without their help. If you go on to all courses, it shows you all the courses you have enrolled in previously. For instance, if I go to my Maths Modeling 1 course, it immediately pops up to the homepage and it shows the most recent announcements. There will be a course overview and your teacher's contact details below along with their consultation hours available. The Ring Central page on the tab provides access to all of your online class meetings and I strongly recommend downloading the Ring Central app on your laptop ASAP as you will need it to attend your classes. From there, you will need the meeting ID to join the meeting. The announcements page shows anything your teacher posts that is important. This could include any reminders for exams or if you need to print anything for exams more information on assessment tasks and homework and so on. The modules page is where you will go on the most in Canvas as you access all of your classwork, homework and lecture recordings. Also highly encourage you to read all of the subject out outline prior to starting a class as it provides an overview of what you will learn. Quizzes and answers will also be uploaded on there. Another great thing about the modules page is that it's organised everything by weeks. For instance, in week one, you will see the lecture video, the lecture PDF, the tutorial questions, answers, and along with any additional resources the teacher provides, which includes YouTube videos. The assignments page is where you can view all of your assignments and all the results as well. The quizzes page is where you can access all of your past exams. I strongly suggest you ensuring that you have a webcam installed on your laptop or purchasing one and downloading the lockdown browser app ASAP as you will need it for, all, for some exams and all of your final exams. The app prevents students from performing exam misconduct as it closes all other applications. The grades page shows all of your results and an average ranging from F for fail, P for pass, C for credit, D for distinction and HD for high, high distinction. Teachers will also put additional feedback as comments as well, occasionally. The discussions board is a super useful tool to collaborate with classmates, especially with subjects that require a lot more debating. For instance, I had to use it a lot when discussing a group report with classmates. However, maths is a fairly straightforward subject which does, does not require a lot of discussion as clearly shown here. The attendance page shows the percentage of tutorials, lectures and lab classes you've attended. The Office 365 page provides access to the Microsoft apps available including Outlook Mail, Word, PowerPoint and Excel. I strongly suggest downloading the apps, especially Outlook Mail, as you access your student email through Outlook. The collaboration tool is another useful tool to do group work as you can take notes together and work on group papers together. The calendar tab provides an overview of the tasks shown in dashboard and are categorised in a monthly period. I highly suggest taking a screenshot of the calendar of every month to be an extra step ahead. 
The inbox tab allows you to message your classmates, teachers and study success advisors for any help. The recent history tab shows where you have been on Canvas recently. The Studio function is a very unique tool, as you can use it to screen record while doing voiceovers or to do it for webcam recordings. I use this for my coding assignment where I had to explain how a code works. If you're ever stuck on Canvas and don't know what to do, feel free to click on the Canvas tab as there are helpful Canvas guides available, a Canvas support hotline and chat. For any other issues, you can also call UTS College IT support on 9218-7000 on weekdays from 8am to 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. To log out, just go on to account and then log out. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you the best of luck at UTS College.